Another feature of democracy, as you described it, is indeterminacy. Majority and minorities are not substantial entities, closed or freezed in time or in the electoral moment. Election just, elections just expresses a singular moment of a long-term and open dialectic between minority and majority. Uh, well, constitutional democracy so combines different rhythms of political time uh, and different temporalities, and also it works with the notion of reversibility and open future, it seems to me. But following uh, your phenomenology of populism in power, one can compare this temporal frame of democratic politics with a new temporality of populism, it seems to me. I mean, con in contrast with constitutional democracy, Populism merge and concentrate these temporalities of constitution, elections, government, and opinion. Uh, I would like to question uh, if, uh, for you, populism uh, represents a radical form of presentism, a simplification of political time, uh, now reduced to the short term of opinion and propaganda. Uh, if populism works uh, in the realm of uh, immediacy. Excellent. This is a, a, one of the most important uh, issues, according to me, in the understanding of both representative democracy of today, of course, and populism. Populism is the, this characteristic of uh, being very, uh, it has a hard time to govern temporarily because it is forced into a radical present dimension the permanent relationship between the leader and his people needs to be permanent every moment, every day, cannot solidify, cannot solidify to the point of becoming a new establishment. Solidification of relationship creates a separation between the representatives and the representative. So he wants to be always in motion, in the flux. So it is a kind of being in the same time in the government and in the opposition, inside and outside, all the time. So it means that the temporality is a, per a permanent presence. This means that po populism has problems in institutionalization. Because as soon as it needs, because it needs to rule and to govern, to use institutions and to manage institutions, as soon as once in government starts these uh, reconstructions of his own institutionality, repl replacing the previous one, replacing the previous regime, then uh, it ends up, and this is the risk of populism, it's a permanent risk, you know, not, regardless of whether it's left or right, this is an, a structural risk of populism. Um, the risk of transforming, uh, of making in, uh, institutionalizations into a way of uh, constructing a strong uh, moment of decision, which is a way of uh, dealing with temporality inside of the institutions. Uh, temporality is presentism. What is the decision moment? The decision moment is the moment of the present. Uh, Machiavelli should say, is the act in which, I, in which the, 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 poli the, poli the political man or the politicians make, he makes the decision. Making decisions is the moment present. So, Institutionalizing presentism of populism, it implies to transform that permanent oppositional uh, uh, rhetoric into an institutionalization that ends up by uh, gratifying, uh, exalting the figure of the leader inside of the institutions, which means the role of uh, um, decision makers more than collective or uh, um, deliberative or even um, articulation of different claims. So the risk does of this in uh, ability of governing uh, temporality is that um, when uh, it puts its end on the constitution and change the constitutions, the, the, the risk is to transform the constitutions into, uh, in fact, a majority constitutionalized itself, its own people declaring to be the, the, only, the, only, the only legitimate or legal one and thus to practically embrace a form of, uh, well, we may say, authoritarian, uh, authoritarian exit. 